Kathy, I want to ask you about that tune <laughs> that you just sang, like I just agreed to ask you about. You, you, uh, you wrote the first tune, right? Wrote the first tune, the one we just did. It's, um, it's about men. It's about men. It was a little hard to tell what it was about because I was standing over there where the sound well, was a little distorted. Well, inside of my head, but... that's what it's about anyway. Yeah. It's about, did you ever see those mule carts? Yeah. They, uh, there's a dumb mule up there, right? And they have a long stick with a string and a carrot hanging in it. Tim and they hang this thing out in front of the mule's nose. Mm -hmm. And he runs after it all day long. And, and Some, who, who's the man in this, in this parable? The mule or the, the uh, person no. holding the carrot? The, the woman is the, is the mule, and chasing the man, something that somebody's always teasing Constantly chasing a man yeah. who always eludes her. Well, they just always hold up something more than they're prepared to give. <laughs> I have to defend my entire sex, ladies and gentlemen. The burden of the Go defense right ahead. <laughs> of, of the <laughs> Welcome friends, this is T again with another reaction video. Today is a very sunny day, so I decided to go on the wild side with Janis Joplin, okay? Peace of my heart. Now, I've heard of her. I don't think too many people haven't heard of her. I think she was an artist in the 70s. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe early 60s, um, late 60s or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm not too familiar with her song. I mean, I think I might have heard a couple of jingles maybe on like commercials. A lot of the times they uh, on commercial, they like to go all the way back to songs that you might not recognize or know and use them for their jingles. And I think I might have heard one of her jingles used in the past. I know she was popular. Um, she sung with a lot of artists back in the day. Very pretty woman and a great smile. I mean, look at her. How can you not see a great smile on that? You know what I'm saying? She seemed like a very happy person, at least at that time, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you hear a lot about, um, I guess it's like the hippie era back then. So I guess everybody was running around happy because uh, you know why? You know why? But it is what it is, right? You know, have fun the way you want. I, I mean, that's the way. That's my motto. Anyway, I don't care. But either way it goes, man. I decided it's a beautiful day. I decided to go on the wild side for what I hear. Rumors, she was pretty wild. She was pretty wild. So I decided to go ahead and go with her. I was like, maybe I can go back to the 60s or 70s, maybe find somebody that might be very interesting that can express, you know, summertime, the warm days, and, you know, nature and all these kind of things. And I came across Janis Joplin, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, reaction. And um, also, I just want to let you know, and I know y'all get tired of hearing it, I started a Patreon account. And um, I hope that y'all join. If y'all enjoying these videos, and I'm only asking if you're enjoying these videos, please think about joining my Patreon, okay? Uh, it would be great. I would definitely give you a shout out on my page. Um, um, on, I guess the comment section or somewhere in the video if you join and I will always give you a shout out for that So I really would appreciate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reaction But before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell That way, you know whenever we come out with new videos. All right. Okay, let's get with this
Nice, very nice, yes. All right, we just listened to Janice Joplin, Peace of My Heart. She seemed like a very happy woman back in the day, man. You know, it seemed like, you know, you look at her, you think about sunshine and happiness. And I guess, I like I say, I don't know, it might have been like that with most of the hippies back then, doing Woodstock and all this other stuff going on. She holding a camera right there, man. I'm a photographer. She must have been a photographer, too. I love that stuff. But anyway, I enjoyed that song. And she got a lot of bass. And a lot of soul in her singing. That's what I love about that, man. I heard that she um, performed with a lot of uh, performers. I'm, I, I'm assuming she probably um, also performed with black uh, singers and performers as well. Because the way she sung, I can't imagine being a black artist back in the day and not want to work with her. I bet she was very popular. And she seemed very approachable too, man. Happy all the time. I, I don't think too much probably bothered her back in the day. But that song, the way she's singing, man, it's just amazing and fantastic man i mean if you have uh if you are a fan of her and you have some um history in her background and what happened to her because i heard she had a, a it might have been a like a tragic um ending in her life or something like that i don't know exactly sure like i said i could look this stuff up but i usually prefer to hear from y'all because i love it when y'all comment i love it i can stress that i love it when y'all comment because y'all know so much stuff about these artists that you probably can't just find easily so i love hearing um hearing back from you so please let me know if you are, are, are familiar with this artist like i say man it's you can feel the energy when she's singing man i can't Look, when they were doing one of these right here, you know what I'm saying? And she's singing. I can imagine it probably blew your mind, man. Just being out in the audience or something like that, enjoying it. But I guess the energy was like that back in the day when people just decided just to throw caution to the wind and just have a good time and just have fun and not worry so much about what the world was going on. Because I think a lot of stuff like it was wars going on back then, like we got going on now. But people found different ways to handle it. I know it was like certain ways, but you know, it was more of a care 
carefree type attitude from my understanding like i say i was a, i was a baby in in you know in the years i was born so i, I was i was i was i existed it just i didn't enjoy the things they were enjoying you know but i'm sure they was having a good time and i know reflecting her singing i really wonder how she got into performing i wonder if if it's something like when she was young did she sing she part part of a choir or something like that and what made her decide to uh, um to go perform and also the way she dressed and the way she act you could tell it was the hippie times you know and she was probably really popular with that crowd i, I can imagine man because that singing is so soulful and, and this is the thing what gets me and this it's like um like with karen carpenter right i did a reaction with karen carpenter you can see my reactions um we can go back to previous videos and find that but i commented that you don't expect this kind of power from somebody so small and little like this you know if i looked at her face and then somebody would have told me this person on the radio was singing this i wouldn't believe them I wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, that voice come from this person? And the same with Karen Carpenter, man. It's just, their voices are just so unique and so powerful, you know? And it's so moving and exciting. And so, I mean, it's just fantastic. I mean, like I, like I say, I wish I could conjure up all the words that I need to uh, talk about how they sound. But this woman, I would have never thought something so powerful can come from. And I'm assuming she's a little woman, man. She just look a little. But uh, from such a little and su such a, she like just so happy. And just so, you know, I, I expected some kind of squealy voice coming from her, man. But not this. This is so powerful, man. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, like I say, it's, um, I know you really have to be, because um, I, I understand she's famous, and um, and, and 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 like uh, back in the day, and probably now, man, I'm sure they probably use it on commercials and movies, all kind of stuff, man. But this is this is a very um, like I said, I probably heard her voice, but I never saw the artist who was singing it. So I'm sure I heard it over the years. You have to hear any popular um, popular uh, artist. Uh, they had famous songs, even even. Um, just one single or whatever. At some point, they're going to use it in a movie or in the commercial. And you probably heard it. But you never know the face of that artist. You don't know it's coming from them. Because probably if I would have heard it, most likely if I heard it, i probably thinking some lady looking rough and tough and all this kind of stuff singing like that. You know, a woman with, you know, very um huge, large, not, not, not like overweight or anything like that. But just, you know, just... Just a huge in stature kind of a thing and just powerful looking you know what i mean you know like a woman when they were singing those feminine songs you know a lot of women that look like that but not this though man it's just you i'm telling you man this woman blows she blows like i never heard anybody sing like that man this is amazing you know i think she's fantastic and if you if you're a fan of hers if you like her performance if you love her singing please leave it in the comments you know let me know you know and if you don't like her please leave it in the comments but i think she's fantastic and i definitely want to do um some more reactions on her in the future now if you definitely want to hear me do more reactions Please let me know. Put in that request because, like, like I say, I might not get to it immediately, but I will get to it eventually, okay? So I'm trying to, I get a lot of requests, and I'm trying to fulfill those requests, okay? So please be patient and and, and be excited as I am when we do these reactions because I get real excited, and they excite me more when I know all of you are also listening as well, okay? All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again, and Literally. Peace.